Who wants to watch a KitchenAid unboxing? If that sounds like fun, keep watching. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm April and I'm glad you stopped by. Like I said in the intro, we're gonna be unboxing this baby. So stick around. And just a quick recap, if you had watched any of my videos from Valentine's Day or even some from the St. Patrick's Day, you probably kind of gathered my coral mixer was about on its last leg. And then that last video I made, I think it's pretty much gone. <laughs> so my husband decided to go ahead and buy us a new one. And I've tickled to death. I have always wanted a KitchenAid. And the one I had, it was good. It was that February, it was the one from Walmart. And I can't complain because they were marked down that particular year for $50. So I can't complain. I had a big, nice stand mixer for $50 and it's lasted me, I don't know, probably four or five years. So I can't complain with that. But I'm so tickled to get this thing open and start working with it. So yeah. there it is. Isn't she pretty? The KitchenAid Artisan and it's five quarts. It's actually got two mixing bowls and that uh, that was kind of my selling point whenever I read that it had two mixing bowls. So I guess that's a list of all of their attachments. My husband's wanting that meat grinder so we're probably gonna get that next as the attachment for this. That's nice, that doesn't come off. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just excited and wanna show you all. But that, that doesn't detach my old one. It, it um, you had to attach it. Oh, mercy. Phew, maybe I should have had him here to help me. <laughs> Let me go ahead and take you to the counter. I think I'm just gonna have to flip it around. So I'll be right back. Be right back. It's a different view. I haven't ever put my camera there before, but it's, I don't guess it's that bad of a view. Should have done this to begin with. It's been a lot easier, but okay. So on, ugh. so it looks like right here is the lock and unlock button. So I just put it on the unlock. Okay, that is the big, uh, I think it was five quart. So yeah, this is the five quart bowl and it's got the handle. I love the handle. And then if you have a KitchenAid, this, you probably don't even want to watch this. But if you don't, you might be <laughs> like me, one and one for years and uh, interested in. Okay, here's the smaller bow, but it's not terribly small. It is, I think, three quart, yeah. So this is a three quart bow. Put it side by side and I'll show you the difference. There's the five quart, there's the three quart. come with the bow scraper. It helps to get down in there and scrape your bow out. But it comes with a bow scraper. Okay, this is the paddle, but it's got that silicone edge. That way it's uh, cleaning the edge. I know my old one did not have that, so I'm looking forward to this part. That'll help scrape down as, as it's turning. Then we've got our wire whisk, and that's one thing that broke on my other one, but there's the wire whisk. That's kind of hard to see, ain't it? There you go. Okay, so there's the wire whisk. There is the dough hook. Which mine did have a dough hook. It was a little different than this one, but there's your dough hook. Make sure you can see that okay. And then finally, I, I didn't have this one on my oven either, but I like this idea. This actually is what cuts your butter in. Like if you're wanting to make um, a pie crust, this is actually what cuts your butter in. And I know if you ever watch like these big uh, either factories or big huge restaurants that's got the big old, you know, bowls. They've got this, this type of paddle in it. Um, somebody I think of just right off the top of my head is Buddy. If y'all watch Food Network and, and watch Buddy, his bakery, you'll see he's got those big old 
containers and it's got the big old paddle like this. But anyway, that cuts in the butter like if you're wanting to do pie crust or biscuits or something like that. And it's on just like that. And don't you just love this color? Oh my gosh, I love this color. It's like, a, it's kind of retro in a way. I don't know, I love this color, but I love blue anyway. So let's put one of our attachments on. That's easy enough. And then we're gonna, no, there, and then lock it. Oh goodness. Then on this side, this is your speed. So it looks like zero to 10. I'll plug it up. Now this is your attachment. You would unscrew this, take this part off, and then put your attachment right there. If you had an attachment. Right now we do not, but we will uh, eventually get the attachment. Like I said, he's wanting the, oh, oops. He's wanting the uh, meat meat one, the uh, meat grinder. I can't do two things at once. I'm gonna have to get used to that lock feature because mine, it, you just push the button right here and then it go up and down. I, so I'm gonna have to get used to that. Let's Let me bring you closer. Okay, there is the start button. I don't want to run it too fast in it with nothing in it. So that's it. That is the unboxing of my new KitchenAid. I am tickled to death. Words can't describe how happy I am that I finally got me a KitchenAid. So thank you, Robert Dale. Um, hopefully you'll start seeing more bread being made because I love making bread. I just haven't done it in a while. So, but hopefully we'll start making more bread and more desserts and different things. So uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. And I hope you have a blessed rest of your day and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.